Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Home, the guitar podcast. And today I'm just gonna have some fun with five different big muff style pedals that I have here. Uh, when you do demo videos, the pedals just kind of pile up and you wake up one day and say, hey, I've got five big muffs. I might as well, you know, just have some fun shooting them out. And also NAM is coming up. I really need to clear out some space. I've been storing a lot of pedals and it's time for me to make some hard decisions about what I keep and what I sell and put back onto the market. I can't be greedy like this. I can't keep all these muffs to myself. So I'm gonna shoot them out and you know, when I hear the comparisons in post, I'll probably have a better idea of what I wanna keep and what I wanna sell. You can also vote somewhere up here. Let me know which ones you think are the best and uh, maybe that'll influence my decision. All right, I have a loop running before all these pedals. Uh, I know this isn't the most ideal setup in the world. It would be better if I had these all in like a loop switcher, but I don't have a loop switcher uh, because fuzzes don't always like to be behind other pedals. They like to be first in the chain because of buffers and things like that. So, uh, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, feel bad for the pedal at the end. It's getting the least amount of signal, but I'm adjusting the knobs, I'm playing around with them. I think it's gonna be fine, and I think I can get a good idea of how these actually sound doing this. All right, let's get started. First of all, I have the Tar Pit by Gur Amps. I have the Green Vodka by McCaffrey Audio. I have the Dreamsicle by Blackmore Effects. I have the 1979 by Mojo Hand, and the Honey Pot Fuzz by TC Electronic from the Smorgasbord of Tone. All right, here's the loop, let's get started. <laughs> And here it is with the lead line. That's interesting. I'm uh, interested to see how this sounds in post. Uh, like I said, do some voting up here or let me know down in the comments what you think about each pedal, uh, what should I keep and what should I put on the market. Obviously, I've kept a lot of these around for a long time. Uh, I like them all is the issue and that's why I'm doing this. I'm not getting rid of these because I don't like them. It's a hard decision because they all have kind of their own thing going on but also do the muff thing really well. 
And uh, it's just tough to let things go, man. It's a it's a hard part of the business I'm in is having a lot of pedals around that sound really good and are a lot of fun to play around with. But if I kept them all, I would die under a pile of them, and that would be a tragedy. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.